Previously on Pixelmon, we joined our hero Dustbox as he attempted to figure out what he was going to do about this whole village er, villager issue, and uh, he decided that uh, he went in the comments and he read about all of everybody's ideas, and everybody's ideas basically told him, do you know what, screw it, just spawn in the villagers. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. Hey, welcome back, this is Dustbox, and I am playing some more Pixelmon for you. On uh, the last episode, we were working a little bit on this area here, trying to get the grass to grow on these roofs, and yeah. So we got lots to talk about today. Before we do, let's before we spawn these villagers in, let's go grab some. Let's just make sure this is all torched up on the inside, so that it's nice and bright. And we don't have anything spawning in here. I don't think anything should spawn, considering we're on a Pixelmon mod. But uh, we just want it to be nice and bright and looking good. So I'm gonna actually spawn the villagers in over here, but I want to put the glass in. And there's a couple other things that I wanted to do, but I don't remember. Is this nice and bright in here. We'll just put like one right here. All right, there. That should be good for now. And we will decorate all these on the inside. But there's a couple things I wanted to talk about today. Um, number one is the possibility. Let me take these particles off. This is gonna freaking destroy my brain right now. Let's see. Um, touch screen mode. That's interesting. Video settings. Particles off. Because these potion particles are just driving me nuts. Anyway, so I've been talking to some guys from Alpha Wing server. Uh, namely Wingman and Danny De La Funk, and uh, we've been we've been chatting up a little bit about starting a Pixelmon server. A uh, it's gonna be private and definitely whitelisted, probably most likely. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go, but uh, you know, and so we have we'll have some people to play with. Let's see, do we not? Let's try what glass panes look like in there, cause we don't have any corners we're rounding, do we? I don't think so. It might throw it off a bit, it might not. Anyway, so yeah, I was thinking about starting a Pixelmon server, and it would be a lot better than um, playing on like a public server, because on a public server, you get all this sort of lag, and it's just really awful. Let's see, how's that look? That looks pretty good. You can barely tell the difference. In fact, I might even replace, I think I'm replacing this stuff with it, too. Yep, that's what we're doing. Everything's going to be glass panes. You want to know why? Because we bring the pain, boys. So yeah, a lot of people were asking, where's Pixelmon? Where's Pixelmon? And it's here, guys. It is here. Um, whoa, music. Hello, music. You're playing, and you're loud. Very loud. This is interesting. Let's see, I'm turning that down, though. What is that? It's music. Yeah, we're turning that back down. Anyway, um, so one of the things that, uh, that was up with that was Chexmax was back, obviously. And, uh, so I got really excited, and I got really lonely, and then I got really excited again because Rygo's starting playing now, and we finally got Cree whitelisted, so yeah. I'm trying to find a happy medium between the both, so I'm thinking about doing, like, three peats of each, and then keeping it going. So let's start out right away by going inside of one of these houses, spawning a villager. So let's spawn them both right away. Oh, let's put the glass in here first. There we go. What do we have? We have two librarians. These guys are good. Giving me some written books. Very cool. So if we lock them in there, they should want to come out. Oh, there is more glass needed right here. So he's coming out and he's going to explore. He's going to be a good little villager, isn't he? Yeah, but I'm liking this area a lot. What, do we do? what have we done on the inside of these? Nothing yet. Yeah, I'm not planning on doing much on the insides of these until we get the whole village, or at least this part of the village done. So yeah, um, let's see, what else can we do today? I really honestly did not come into this with a plan. I just like thinking, oh, you know what? I haven't recorded Pixelmon and everybody's bugging me for it. And not, not that I didn't want to do anything. I've really wanted to play Pixelmon for a while now. It's just, it's just one of those things, you know? Anyway, so let's, uh, maybe we should do some training today. Let's go f out into the desert maybe, or look for some Machokes or some larger type Pokemon. So one of the questions that I saw on the comments section recently, this will work, um, was, wh how does Dustbox have all these Pokemon? You know, I have uh, all the Pokemon that you have to trade to get. Uh, for example, Machamp, Gengar, all those guys. Um, well, recently I lost my Minecraft account, and when that happened, I lost all my Pokemon on here. I didn't want to just copy the player dat files and stuff like that. I could have, but, you know, I thought of it as a fresh starting point. Oh, he just destroyed me. So I thought to myself, you know what, why don't we just spawn in the Pokemon that we can't get so that we can get, um, so we can complete the Pokedex eventually. What needs, let's do Gengar. Go Gengar! Suck a punch. 
So yeah, that was the idea behind, you know, getting these Pokemon right here. Alakazam, Gollum, Machamp, Gengar, and Porygon. Um, I think you can get Mewtwo. That there's a way to get him, I just don't know how. But, I, you know, I'm not going to mess with that right now. So, let's see. What is that? Is this a cave? I was a little hiding. This music is very annoying. Turning you down even more. I'm, you guys probably can't hear it, but I can. And it is bugging the crap out of me. Ah, uh, it's getting nighttime. You know what I really need is Ender Balls. And I don't know exactly how, but I think it would be cool to make a Pokemon drop farm. I don't know, like, for example, fl most flying Pokemon don't take damage. So what we would need to do is go find an area where we can light up all the caves and half slab everything and make a spawning platform for every everything that's going to spawn. I can go into the player file, or the, the config file for Pixelmon, and I can actually... Oops, wrong way. I can actually change the amount of Pokemon that can spawn. So I'm thinking about upping that, and then going out and half slabbing an entire area... For example, somewhere in the desert, and we can stand in the middle and have a spawning pad for them. And then we can somehow have a drop. Because I think... Let me think. Uh, there are some flying Pokemon in the desert. There are flying Pokemon everywhere. I'm just trying to think of a way that we can bypass... And you know, that would be a great way to, you know, bypass... Um, searching for Pokemon, too, would be to, like, create an area. Like, for example, say we want an Articuno. This is a lot more work than it would be just to look for it, but we could clear out this entire forest here. There is an ice mountains over there, and uh, we clear out everything, and we create a platform up there, and then we half slab everything, light up all the caves, and Articuno is going to be bound to spawn up there if we keep killing everybody up there. So, Also, I never actually showed you guys what I was doing with this, so I'm going to do that real quick. So basically what I was doing is just getting these these saplings out like this and exploiting the whale pail to get wood. Whale mer pail is like unlimited bone meal. Yeah, like that. Oh, hello. And then sometimes you gotta get the weird ones in there like that. And then, let's see, can we reach that? We can. It's like this. And we go all the way down. And we get a nice row of trees and easy to cut down and everything is good about this. So this is what I was doing with this. I showed it in the last episode. I didn't explain it very well, though. So I thought I would just give you guys a little clarification for those of you who don't know. Yeah. All right. Um, another thing. Let's see. What was I going to talk about? Yeah, that, that Pixelmon server. If you guys got names for it or ideas, let me know. Uh, Danny. Danny, you watch all of my Pixelmon stuff. I know that you're going to be watching this. Yeah, let me know what's going on with that because I am very, very interested in doing that. That would be cool. Having a group of people to play Pixelmon with. Let's uh, let's fight Hitmon Cheyenne, shall we? Now, do we have Wing Attack? We sure do. Wing Attack is very strong, as I was pointed out in the comment. Flying types are very strong against fighting, so that's always good to do. All right, there we go. And I'm actually, I am thinking about not when I'm doing non-building episodes of Pixelmon, when I'm just like explaining ideas or you know training up or something like that. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep those episodes shorter. Uh, because I don't necessarily need to have a ridiculously long episode of me just grinding EXP. In fact, I don't even need to record it, but I really like to. Uh, yeah, another thing we need to do is more bookcases for our enchanting table. So let's grab some of this junk here. Charmander! Charmander! Shut up, you. All right. We really need to get a good sugarcane farm going out here. So yeah, I you know I'm gonna try to find this happy balance between uh, Chexmax and Pixelmon, which is kind of hard for me considering you know I I am a very 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 vanilla type guy. I love my Minecraft vanilla. In fact, playing on a mod was very hard for me at first because I love vanilla so much and I thought it would just ruin the game for me. But you know what? As soon as I got back on Chexmax, I was like, oh baby, I love this game. So you know I I do love Pixelmon a lot. It's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to find happy mediums with all these different things. Let's get some paper here. 48 pieces, not too shabby, I do declare. We got some of this junk. Make some books. And get one more book out of that. Let's get rid of... We don't need flowers. Shut up, Charmander. You're weird. You're a very weird Pokemon. What are we doing for time? About 10 minutes right now. Yeah, so we're going to go a little bit more than 10 minutes, even though it's just one of those weird explainy episodes. But yeah, 
I'm really glad to be back on Pixelmon, and, you know, it's not going anywhere, guys. I was hooking on my channel the other day, and, like, looking at the numbers of views and likes I was getting from my Pixelmon series, and it is ridiculous. I am so surprised at how much you guys really enjoy this series. Um, you know, if I was on a server, it would probably be better. However, um, you know, with the views and such, but, you know, I don't... I'm not in it for the views. I'm in it for the fun and all that sort of stuff. I, I, I really love playing this game. So let's make one more, what you call it. Where is my paper? Let's get that in there. All right, we got books. Now let's, let's put some junk away. We got too much. Eventually, I do need to go through and organize all of my crap. That'll be good. Let's make some wood. Now, we are not going to have very many bookshelves out of this. Bookshelves are so hard to make. Gosh dang. Whoops, wrong button. Still have an extra book left. And let's do it like that. That'll work. Five bookshelves, not too shabby. And let's just come on up. And what we're going to do is just... Let's put one right there. One right there. One right there. One right there. And one right there. Let that load up. Let's see what we can enchant now. Only got efficiency one on that. That's a shame. How high go? We can get level 14, 16. 16 seems to be the best. What can we enchant real quick? Efficiency one. That's not bad. So yeah, guys, I think I'm actually going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, this is just a little catch-up video because I haven't been doing Pixelmon and I feel really bad about that. So I will see you guys later. And maybe by that time, let's actually quickly go just check out the villagers before we're done. Before we're done, that's something I want to do. Are they still around? I really hope so. So if they wandered off, I'm going to be very, very upset. I hear one of them. There's one. There's the other. Okay, cool. They're still around. So as soon as we get some more doors around here, they're going to start breeding. And we're going to have this whole area filled up with houses with doors on it. And they're just going to be very happy little villagers. Silly villagers. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.